Hello there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to show you how to make some really easy Scrabble tiles for whatever verse and whatever word you want to spell out in your Bible journaling. And this comes from my 40 Days of Prayer sketchbook, which if you've been watching along with the videos, you've seen a bunch of these. There's also a free class over at art-classes.com that you can take and have 40 days of inspiration for yourself. But this is the drawing, and it's a little complex to draw. You can download the drawing in there, but I'm going to use it for Luke 15, 23 and 24. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And I'm going to do it in the Illustrating Bible. It's the one that's really big. It's a huge Bible, but the words are kind of squished together. They're a little less readable than I would like, but I do like the fact that you have more space available on the the side panel here. It's wider than normal. But what I've done is chopped out a bunch of cardstock at one inch by one inch and kind of laid them out. I have enough of these little squares cut out that I could figure out how to spell out the word prodigal that I want to spell out. Whatever word you want to do, just cut out that number of squares. Kind of toss them in whatever arrangement you want on your page. Leave room for whatever words you want to write aside from that. And I'm just going to make them cascade down the page. The cool thing about this is if you're using a Bible with the two inch margin, you can easily adapt this to spell a word somehow down the page. But you can see mine are kind of kitty wampus, different directions. So they look like they've just sort of been cast out onto the Scrabble board. And you can do this with or without a Scrabble board. I'm going to paint a Scrabble board underneath of it and I'll show you how to do that. But I'm just doing a really simple, quick painting into each one of these blocks and just doing it with a light brown color. And what I did when I was doing this, by the way, is Googling Scrabble tiles because you'll see lots of information about Scrabble tiles if you don't have the game or you haven't seen it recently. That might help you, especially if you want to add the right point number on each of the letters. And if that's important to you, you might just Google that and find it out. To make each one of these look like they're a thicker kind of Scrabble tile, I'm putting shading on the left and the bottom for the most part. Now the ones that turn it an angle, you kind of have to decide which side you're going to put the shadows on. For the most part, as long as you kind of stick to either the, the left and the bottom or the right and the bottom, it's going to read okay to the eye. So don't stress out about, oh my gosh, which way do I do it? So I'm just doing the, the left and the bottom. After it dries, I'm going to mark off inch squares for my Scrabble board underneath of this. And then I'm using just a little rolling ruler. These are just like little kids ruler that you can get at the, uh, the grocery store for your, your kids stuff where you can measure them out. I'm not worried about being super careful with them because Scrabble boards, at least the ones that I Googled, have white lines. So these are basically where not to paint. So I'm not really going to stress about them a whole lot. I'm going to put a really loose, lightweight color kind of Scrabble board underneath. And the Scrabble boards have usually a couple different squares that have different points on them. And there's you know some that are pink and blue or pink and teal, different kinds of colors. You can, again, Google or you can use whatever kind of board you have in your, your game collection at your house and make one that kind of matches. And I'm putting really loose squares inside of this. Like I told you, the lines that I drew are where I'm going to leave the white. So I'm stopping short of the lines and just putting a little bit of color in here. It'll make it look like there's a grid underneath of it without stressing out about trying to be perfect with everything. And it'll have a really loose feel for the whole piece when I'm done with it, which is really what I like. I don't like anything where I have to worry too much in my Bible journaling. And in this particular one, um, I'm spelling out the word prodigals, and that's the word that I chose for this particular one. That's what the prayer prompt is for in the 40 days of prayer and fasting. However, you can do all different kinds of verses. I did decide to lighten them up a little bit because I wanted to make sure that my Scrabble tiles with letters on them really showed up a bunch more, but that background is just going to be there kind of as a a really soft thing underneath. Put a little sheet of paper over it and iron it to mostly flatten it out and then erase the pencil lines. Since I didn't paint over them, they'll erase really well. And sometimes if you paint really light watercolor, you can erase pencil lines. They don't get too trapped. 
So now that all that is done, I'm going to add black lines, just a, a box around each one. And one of the reasons why I wait until after I'm finished is because if I bloop with my watercolor and I end up having to change the edge of it, I can change my line really easily. If I put my black lines down first and then try to paint into them, then I'm stuck with having to try to meet that line. And if you're anything like me and you start slopping around paint, it becomes a little challenge sometimes to stay exactly in those lines. And this gives me freedom to adapt when I'm all finished. Now for each one of the letters, like I said, I looked up online to find out what the points were for each one. And I'm making a kind of thick letter using my Micron pen to do it. There are thicker pens than this, but I'm just going over it a couple times to make a thicker type of letter and then adding the numbers down below in each one of them. And as you can see, it's looking very much like Scrabble tiles. Think of all of the different kinds of Bible pages that you can use this kind of an idea for and spelling out all different kinds of words. This helps to not have to have words that are even straight across. So if you have trouble with trying to make your text look like it's all straight, these are all kitty wampus. So you can make them any different direction and just make them on the little blocks so they end up looking looking like they're on the squares. You can also color these very easily in colored pencil, that sort of thing. And then I'm just going to add bring them home in a script down below and I'll thicken the letters up a little bit by doing the same thing, going over them again with a pen, erasing my pencil in between and just reaffirming each one of these letters. And I love ideas like this to share with all of you here on YouTube because a lot of people are scared of Bible journey, journaling. They're afraid of drawing in their Bibles. And I try to make it accessible so that you too can participate without having to feel like you have to have all kinds of mad skills. As you do more and as you learn more, you're going to become more comfortable with it. So I promise it does get easier over time. And you can take other classes and learn how to draw things that you can then translate into your Bible. And in the 40 Days of Prayer and Fasting course, there's a full page drawing. Each one of my sketches is a full page drawing. And you can download those and trace them and use them for your own learning and practicing as you're doing your own Bible journaling as well. So there you go. Prodigals bring them on home is my finished page. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me this Sunday morning or whenever you're watching. And I will see you again next Sunday with yet another video. Have a really blessed week. Bye-bye.